it's all about local food. As founders, the, the way we envision this is not to stay small. We see that local food is the future of food. People want to be local. We're going to create regional food systems like this all across the country. In order to do that, we have to be kind of big, uh, at least from all appearances. Uh, dealing with supermarkets, dealing with major stores, and we have to use equipment and automation to make the plant as efficient as possible, still being able to be true to our roots. Uh, this machine was a, a plant, you know, with a, that was basically like a hot iron. Uh, back in the, the boxes was a hand tape gun. You get hand tape guns like in the UPS store. So we set a case here, the flaps are still down on the side of the rails. We fill it with eight bags of product and then send it straight through. There's feeder guys on the side, they suck the box in, tape rolls on top and bottom. Again, the code goes on the side, so any box, any bag, we can always tell which part it came from. For us to operate in that space and stay true to it, we have to be authentically local. One of the ways we've had to do that is uh, make sure that our customers know that we don't just say we're local, we, we actually back it up. So we've gone to great expense and great pains to track every package of product that goes through our, our plant. Uh, with what's called a crop stalker code. You can stalk your crops. It's a numeric code. It's very simple. You go to our website, and that code will tell you exactly what farm that product came from, the day it was picked. You can reach out and talk to the farmers that grew the food. That's the important part about local is knowing your farmer. Anytime we get questions about what chemicals are used or how the crops are grown or where it came from, we actually don't answer those questions ourselves. We know that consumers want to know about their food, how their food was grown, and that's good. We encourage that. The best way for them to get answers to that is to talk directly to the farmers that grew it. So we direct them to the crop soccer code. We say that's a great question. Please call the farmer, contact this farmer. They want to talk to you. They love their land, they love what they do, they love producing food, and they want to meet the consumers that are eating it. We grow about 100 acres of vegetables. Uh, some of it comes here. Lots of sweet corn, green beans, cantaloupe, uh, shell peas, tomatoes, peppers, a little bit of everything. My partnership developed with a simple message on Facebook, on Husk's Facebook page, and I met with Nick and Adam, and from there spawned uh, the relationship, and here I am delivering green beans tonight. Anything to help the local economy, the local food movement, local agriculture, uh, to get consumers in touch with that, that local, you know, to get back to that local, to know exactly where their stuff is coming from, is uh, very important to our economy here. A couple of things that we do is we actually attend farmer's markets. Uh, because that's where people who have the strongest mindset toward local food are at. And we don't sell a lot of product at farmer's markets. The best thing at a farmer's market is fresh produce. We're there to educate. We have product with us, but there's a lot of questions as people come by and say, wait, why is this frozen? What's going on? We can tell people, look, that farmer right down the aisle there, that's Scott Wilson. He's at this farmer's market. You can buy his sweet corn fresh today. But in November, December, January, March, you can get Scott Wilson's sweet corn in a bag that looks just like this at a grocery store. Talk about how that's worked. What do you, why do you have a husk shirt on? Because I like husk. You like husk? What do you like most about husk? It's corn. It's I like corn. Everybody likes corn, right? Yeah. So, in, in, husk is the only kind of corn you eat, your dad tells me? So what, what do you do if you go somewhere and they don't, have, they don't have husk? Do you get corn still or not? Never ever get corn. No? You don't have husk. You should eat husk, corn, and green beans, and peas.